Hey, what's up everybody? Scotty here. Welcome back to another episode of Pills of Eternity. This time, we are going to do The Man Who Waits. Since it's pretty pretty close to the quest that we just finished, two-sided. Um, come to the sanitarium, which is kind of like a crazy house. If you want to put it in a very direct way, in Brackenberry. Um, when you're here, speak to this statue. <coughs> Um, there's going to be a lot of miscellaneous reading where there's no actual speech, uh, but in areas where, like in Portent Notes, I'll, I'll, I'll break that down. So there's a statue uh, you can speak to. <clears throat> statue wants to know what's brought you here. Um, you can go ahead and do four if you want, but it's we've already done that quest. If, by doing number four, it will update your quest two-sided. The reason why I didn't talk to the statues is because I didn't want to quickly move on to that quest. Um, I'm going to do number three next. <clears throat> this place is pretty much where they help people with problems with souls. And this is since uh, Wade One's legacy is happening, they're they're pretty determined to, to find a solution. Uh, before I do number one, which is needed to move on to the quest, I'll do number two. Uh, this person was in charge of the sanitarium for a very long time. But since he grew old, uh, he wanted to remain. So we can continue on. All right, now we'll do number one. So, you want to know, you're here to investigate the Laden Key. This uh, Ethamore wants to know why. And to be honest, you really don't know why. You don't know much about what these people were trying to do. You're still trying to figure that out, part of the main story. You did go to their meeting. Um, and never far from the queen. They gave you some assignments, but it, you just don't know their intentions. So this is why I'm going to choose. Uh, I like. I don't like what they stand for. Number two, they're up to something. And I'm trying to determine what. <laughs> With this person being as old as they are, they're they already know that they're always up to something. Um. You don't know who would who the laden keep person is, so it's just best to suspect everyone. So uh Elthamire is telling you to just speak with the resident animancers who are are gonna be down downstairs. Alright then. Uh, there's not really much to do on here on the first floor. There's some books. But this this is actually a very interesting, um, if, if you're deep into the lore. Saint Wadewin, a farmer who become a god. So I'll, I'll scroll down so you can read this. I'm 
I'm actually going to take that book because I want to read it more in depth myself. I mean, we've, we've always heard stories of the poor, you know, some poor person becoming a king or an emperor. One to name is uh, King David from the Bible. He was a farmer. Well, his father, I think his father was a farmer and he became, you know, a very great king in the Old Testament. Uh, who else was it? Who else was a poor person that rose to power Manny Pacquiao I mean he, he didn't become a king or a, or a emperor or anything but being a, a very poor man with very great top bi boxing talent uh, he quickly rose to you know fame and fortune Just get some of these books in case you're interested. I think this one's already been read. And this should be the last one. Yep. A Deer Customs. Alright, let's go on downstairs. This is a, a very interesting quest how souls work. We don't need to go here. We can come here. Um, this box right here is part of another quest. You can examine it. Um, you can try to open it, but you're going to need a key. This is one of the Animancers. He's just Greetings. busy working. Question him if you like. Of course, there's nothing unusual going on at the sanitarium. It's a crazy house, pretty much. Uh, th this person's focus study is with whites. You know the little, little bitty creatures we fight every now and then? Very interesting to know that they're hollowborn who has had an animal soul transferred into their body and the reason why they're hostile is because well they just become feral and ravenous very interesting to know about whites <clears throat> so they're you know at the sanitarium you know other places they're they're doing <laughs> They're doing just about everything they can to try to stop Wade One's legacy because there's there's such a high population and uh, was such a high uh, populace of Holoborns. and you know some of their methods are pretty questionable. I think I kind of skipped that. We need to talk to Cade Manazzo. He's like the person in charge down here doing most of the experiments. I wouldn't advise stealing from there. Uh, Ripley. Yeah. Is Azo's assistant. You don't have to do this where it says Well actually you kinda do. You you found out let me let me show you. Alright. I don't have the time to deal with Head Warden's inevitable questions. So he's up to something. And he's not using the right protocol. So that right there is just a, a hint day to we you. need to take matters a little bit further. What do you do here? 
look for experts and awakenings. You don't really need that. Cause we've already solved it. Okay. Nothing in here. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, you cannot you cannot go any further because the guards won't let you. So you need to speak with the head warden, who's ultimately going to give you more authority. Speak back with Ethel Meyer. Stranger. Cayman is doing something. Doing some weird experiments. So let's go figure out what's going on. When you speak to Cadman, it's his dialogue's kinda tricky if you don't choose the right options. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get there. So don't think when you if you haven't a if it has occurred to you, uh, don't think that you can't make any further progress. You just have to choose the right dialogue. Uh, Freyall is the only person you could speak to in here. You must be visiting someone. Want to know more about Ezo. Um, he's he's got obviously everybody in here has had problems with souls so uh, this person has had an interesting story this I think it's a woman but pretty much what happened to Azo in the past well I mean yeah Azo in the past is he was doing some experiments and it was not good you see he was trying to solve the legacy figure out a way to create a soul not exactly a soul you mind a proxy so he was supposed to demonstrate how all this worked but he didn't uh, as I was just gonna be in the southwest southeast I mean you can say that patients are acting unusual is because they have problems. They wouldn't be here if they didn't have problems. Of course they're acting unusual. So this, she gives you a little bit more details about the other patients, but it's, it's kind of irrelevant to even know about it because they're patients. They're crazy patients. I mean, they're not crazy. They just have issues with the soul. Um, the North Ward is ultimately where we need to go, but we can't go there yet. <clears throat> then you ask why you're here. Just let them know that you're crazy too, or whatever one you want. It's all going to go to the same. Uh, she lost her family in the war. Her, her experience is like she pretty much lost everything but when her soul awakened she remembered being a noble one so her dilemma is she's currently poor but her memories are being of noble a noble woman so that, that's kind of hard to deal with it's not the fact that Oh, I accept rea reality now that you know I'm poor. I can deal with it. But when these souls awaken, that's the problem. It's not you're the problem. It's the souls when they awaken. Just like with a lot, when he's stressed or in danger, Is Islamira comes out, and you know she acts drastically. So if you got this other person um, overtaking your body, it's difficult to deal with. I'm just gonna be passionate. Farewell. Um, not gonna go anywhere else because we're gonna have to go there later. I'm 
going to go directly to uh, Cademan. Uh, okay, very important. I don't guess it's too a important, but if test. you do want these items, you're going to need That's to unlock these chests. And I mean, it's not considered stealing for some odd reason, but you get Raven Wing. It's one headed mace, pretty decent. And I can do that. That's settled. You get armor. So, with these two items, I'm actually going to make my priest melee where's that mace? no I don't want that it's a pretty decent mace where is that mace? there it is forgot to let you read it okay lot better accuracy. Not so much as better damage, but better than what I was doing. Okay, now let's hey. speak to Azo. What is the meaning of this? <clears throat> like, uh... Let's go ahead and knock out the easy one. See, he doesn't really tell you anything. Um... Don't do number three first, because I ran into problems doing that on screen. And he pretty much tells Ethel Meyer that she's not she's not getting anything done. <clears throat> you toy with things beyond our comprehension. It's dangerous, and foolish. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna choose number three. Indeed. Many lives have been spent in such pursuits, writing treatises and poems. But tell me this, how does one verify the truth of a poem? If some philosopher stumbled across the meaning of our existence, how would we know it from a false one? These are wasted lives. In animancy there is progress. We are measurably closer to complete understanding because of our work. And that will be true until our work is complete. Who will solve Widewen's legacy? Some church? Some warrior? It will be an animancer or it will be no one at all. This guy is very confident in himself. I'm going to choose option one again. This is the problem. This is the problem. No, wait. Might need to do number three next. But I'll just... He doesn't want to talk about his demotion um, now if you go to number three if you go to number three first he won't do anything choose option one first and then three now choose number one she's a patient huh <laughs> his blazing woman knows nothing of the nature of my experiments fine Speak to them for all the good it'll Now do. he'll let you in. I'm sure the discussions will be fascinating. So North Wing's gonna be up here. There is there's nothing over here but cells. These patients won't say anything at all. I think they'll end up attacking you. I didn't go this way last time. He gives you a key, you can unlock it. Uh, save right here. You don't have to, but I am. You can talk to these patients. The only one you'll get dialogue is out of this one. This is the... Now, this area up here is where the, the real messed up souls are. Alright. So there's quite a bit of reading in here um, this guy his soul is so messed up he he can't really even do anything they just experimented on him he's, he's just poor guy see 
state of mutilations of animacy, crueler than any torture, to disfigure the soul. So it's nothing wrong with his body, it's, it's his soul. <coughs> choose option one he still doesn't talk but you can look deeper into his soul to find out exactly what goes on you're in a cell key turns door creaks open kind of telling you how he is in the cell. It's not really that important. Look to the half crazed price of Graham and the strange behavior at a boy in the far end. So it pretty much just tells you what he's been experiencing, what he's witnessed, how he's felt. And there's another patient at the very end of the hall, right here. Usgrim. It's a young boy, adolescent boy. He's just as messed up as the last guy. But he's had like another soul put into him. like an infiltrator So now we're speaking through the soul.
Now the boy's dead, and soul awakens. Pretty much everybody's hostile now. Pretty much just get closer to finding the we I don't know this, this is kind of weird all you kind of get out of this is just a place of misery well we do learn that they're possessing weak souls Okie dokie. Leave it to me! Go it. And uh, it seems kind of like the lady uh. key is trying to. It seems like the laden key is trying to put off. It's trying to delay those who are trying to solve uh, Waden's legacy. Uh. Over here, you can loot this. That would have helped earlier, but you don't need it. Get this. Some lot picks in here too. Frail's body. No, I I don't know. Pretty All much right everybody then. in here is dead. Either dead or gone. I usually save right here. Back with Hazo. <clears throat> You've been experimenting their souls. That's what you're supposed to be doing. He's pretty much saying he doesn't care. He had to do it, but he he does say that he's very close to a solution. If you say you expose him, then he'll attack. Um, or you could choose this to say, hey, uh, your secret's safe with me. Or you could just outright attack. Um, but this one should probably just be in the hands of Ethel Meyer. That's just the I option that I that choose. You do what's right for Deerwood. Don't hold everyone accountable for. Hey. Let's go speak back with the warden. As soon as you enter here, it'll engage dialogue. Alright, uh, add things under two. Oh, uh, wait. I'm gonna choose this one. So it's like the laden key sent a spy to just kind of figure out, you know, just kind of keep tabs on sanitarium to see what they're doing.
Uh, it this is the truth. He was only trying to help. But the laden key was kind of like just interfering with his experiment since it was a possessed soul. It wasn't the patient's soul at all. It was more like a husk, to be honest. Speaking of her does not end the quest. We actually end the quest once once they engage battle. Yep. So the boy died, and that's you get um, forty eight hundred total quest experience for doing this quest. No items, but the chest. Hey. Don't forget to don't forget to open those chests uh, where where Cave Nanazo is and uh, the lower level, and you get some some pretty nice unique weapons. And, uh, yeah, all right.